ahead, buddy. Really? He's right there! What do you mean? This is so goofy. You're so fat. You just knocked me off the stairs, didn't you? Like, fuck you. Okay. So silly. Oh, hey! I will take that fusion core. Thanks. I have like a million of them. I really do. I have so many fusion cores. I haven't used like a single one. I don't use my power armor like ever, but I just don't like how cumbersome I feel in the power armor. I like just running around like as me. Security's too oh! I should have brought Nick, dude. I should have brought Nick. What did I tell you? I actually don't know if he can hack an expert lock or an expert thing. Or no, he can't uh, do master. I think we can do expert though. I leveled up. Wait, hold on. I can do this. I can make this happen. I can do this right now. I forgot that we leveled up. Give me that fucking terminal. I'm sick. No, it's master, Here, not expert. Ah! I want to reload. I'm going to throw up. I'm throwing up. I'm jumping off. I'm jumping off. I'm it. That's it. It's over for me. I'm done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I hate this game. Going in. Fuck it. Ada, you better be behind me or I'm going to freak out. Yeah, you're... I suggest you refrain from inhaling the tainted air here. We may have no more hiding for you. Why are you... How am I supposed to shoot that? Ada can't even shoot it, apparently. It's just glitching around everywhere. You, man. Oh, you got eight balls? That's pretty cool. Trey. Trey, yeah, it's got the little icon. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see now. Oh, hey, man. Dude, I love this gun. I fucking love this gun. This is my everything. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Where are you? There's one, like, behind me, right? Where is it? Oh, it's below me? Okay. More trays. I'm hoping this will carry me for a while. There is a lot of trays. Holy shit. Yes! Yes! Oh, this is all I've ever wanted. Look at all these trays, chat. Even if they only just give me one aluminum each. There's so many trays. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Got it. Yes. Oh, nope. Hey, buddy. Oh, you tell. I did. I thought I put it into medical mode, but whatever. He's okay. He can vibe. Hey, buddy. My dad just texted me that it's two days until Paper Mario comes out. Oh. Oh, yeah. I killed them, Bubba. It's okay. Subject appears to be deceased. Okay. One more pass through here. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Get us out. <laughs> that sound effect sounded like it was something edited in post. That sounded so good. Bang. <laughs> yeah, keep getting him. Keep getting him. <laughs> I can't even handle this. Oh my god. No, no, no. Wait. <laughs> no, guys. Guys. <laughs> The smacking is so good. Oh, thank God. Really? Why did that? Gotcha. Oh, arm. Oh my God. Ow, ow, ow. Hey. Not gangrenous. Stop with your fucking legs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
withered. Why y'all got like fucking status effects now? Hey, you want a can? No, that chin though, brother. Oh, damn, you cut glass with that. Impressive. Okay, I think, I think I've gotten everything that I needed from here. I feel like I've gotten like every can and tray in existence. So I feel like I should be okay. I feel like I'm good now. I scoured this place. Back to the castle we go. It produces only three. That's awesome. So I need gears and screws. Did I not have everything else before? Is it cause I gave it to fucking... It's cause I gave it to Ada? Hey. Yeah, it's cause of the fucking camera. Do you have anything else on you? No, okay. Okay, fuck it. Yep, yeah, no, that's fine. No, don't do that. Fuck off. Oh my God. It's getting dark out there, people. Where? Preston? Attention Preston, you bitch, where are you? Oh my God, please, you're scaring me. Wow, we really did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we've got yeah. to stay off on what we started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. Cool problems. Running, oh, that's so fun. Broadcast alerts to you. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. Let's go. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. Like no one. Oh my god, he gave me so many things. Um, okay. Vibes in the waste. Lane. Are they robot racing? Are they robot racing? Okay, bitch. Fuck you. <gasps> Don't you dare. Oh my god. No, they're going. They're going. They're going. Oh my god. What? Oh, hey, Preston. I need to talk to you to finish a quest. Give me some XP, hey. babe. Apparently, the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Uh oh. Better go see what's going on. But I needed to talk to you about something else, Preston. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Yo. Yep. I'll let you know if I hear. That's actually more their front yard. Help. They were across in the, the street, meantime, I think. It's fine. Make sure to offer help to anyone that needs. I guess there's no real front in the buildings. Whatever. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. XP, baby. Two forty-eight. Nice. Look, man, I'll save some settlements because I get XP from murdering the settlements. Not so murdering the settlements, murdering the settlements foes. I'm scared of going back to the castle. I'm sorry. I want to go over to here. He got me some stuff. I'm sorry. I'll go to the castle in a minute. Whatever they're dealing with, it's fine. Oh, shit. I should have looked for Nick. I don't know where the fuck he is. I sent him back to... I sent him back to where he was supposed to be. I should. Hold on. Let's go back. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is such a waste of time. I know, I know. It's fine. Does Metal Husband just, like, not go back to Sanctuary? Does he, like, go back to his stupid fucking detective agency? Where is he? Does he, like, yeah, does he go back to the office? That's, like, what I'm thinking. He needed to make introductions in Good Neighbor. Oh, is that where he, like, just went then? So he just went there? But why, you fool? Oh, you fucking dingo. Wow, right here, huh? I was right here and I just never went inside. Hi. Oh. I, th I read that as daddy's Hold discount. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off or you're the one who's going to I put insurance. her sunglasses Boy. away. All right. We'll just no, that would have looked so much cooler with the sunglasses. Okay. Oh, I was so bad. Guys, I'm so sad. First time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. Oh, this is a guy that everyone wants to bang. Soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Are you guys gonna kiss? Oh! <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now, I think I, I love you, you actually. Handle back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You all right? 
Yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Hell yeah. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Okay, bud. Anyways, mind if I steal from this guy? Thanks. Hey, where am I fucking supposed to be now? I don't see like a quest for here at all. Like I had it on my map, but I don't... I don't have like a quest here. I'm just kind of here now. You did. Save that Rex Goodman from the super mutants. Yes, not everyone appreciates the bard. Am I right? Okay. Memory den. Interesting. Mm. Oh, hey. You're just up there, huh? <gasps> you look dapper as fuck. Hey, ham. Welcome in the third rail. Go on in. I wanted to go upstairs. Oh, I guess I could also piss. Oh, apparently, ah, the fungus growing on your walls is yours. So sorry, guys. Okay, well, I'm already bored. I'll come back here later when I have a reason to be here. Oh, wait! Back. Shoot the fat. Hold on. No, yeah, the memory den. We gotta go to the memory den and give that brain to this guy. But why is it not, like, in my shit? Am I wild? Unless I just skip past it. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, he is here! You? I have been looking everywhere for you, brother bear. you had forgotten me about the May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Ma'am. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Oh my god. We have robot wife and robot husband. This is the best day of my life, bro. Dr. Amari? Yes. <gasps> I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had I didn't want to do more main story quest. I wanted to go and bring my robot husband to go loot things. <laughs> you need this. But so fine. we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue. Injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. Oh. But there's no way it to does access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Oh! Sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. Ada, you rickety bastard. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the impact. Hmm. Can I hack him? Can I hack your head? Can I hack your head? Tell me you have a way past this. <laughs> Let me hack your Let head! Me think. 
The encryption is too strong. Oh no. Oh my god, we have to be drift compatible. <laughs> we used to reload both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive Nick and I are going to be drift compatible. While your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Uh let's do it, All brother. Right. Let's get started. Just let's get started. There and keep your fingers crossed. Okay. See you on the other side. I have to sit. I take a little seat. Oh, Ada, she watch. Some flashing Initiating lights? All right, probably, yeah, I wouldn't, that would make sense. The host. Flashing light warning, friend. Coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. Oh. The simulation appears to be working. Okay. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Okay. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh. There. Oh. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. He's making a little bridge. Oh, I gotta walk it. I can walk. This is gross. This is weird. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Me. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Kellogg's voice gives me jacked vibes. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but... Uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Oh. Not then. Dad was either drunk or not around. Oh. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. That's so sad, dude. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. Jesus. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I won't. Oh, God. I promise. Oh. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. That's so sad, there though. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Oh. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy. But, I love uh, his voice, though. You don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever it's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like it's gonna be fun i was the worst thing that ever oh, happened to pretty. her if she'd never met me she'd have stayed in the hub Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. 
Almost certainly lived longer. Fine. You'll see. But we don't know. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. So he came from Not for one second. All the way across the way. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. Oh. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Yes. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of... Green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Hmm. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? <laughs> come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep I have you done safe. I promise. Please don't point the gun at your baby, though. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's looking cool. What's up, brother? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us? And we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help This them. voice is so familiar. Uh-oh. Mind if we sit down? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. Rip. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. Mm. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. Take haircut. It was almost always a bar, though. Oh, no. That's worry. universal. Well, I thought everything is like two heads. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll oh. do this all by yourself? That's right. Damn. We pay you. When the job is done. Banana good night. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So oh, you're with oh. the institute. Oh. 
I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. We do, as you can see. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Hmm. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our <laughs> operations lately. This must stop. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. You're... I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. Mm. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Damn, bro. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Offline. Rocked. Destroyed. Mm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Can I take those? Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Hold on. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving It's us! Alive. It's Miss Tit! I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. Frozen tit. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Let's go. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Yeah, bitch, talk me up. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of Sorry, them. I just want to keep looking at her. She's so cute. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. So he, he just killed, like, everyone. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... Oh. I'd like to... But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something right. done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. 
Okay. This is the one. Here. Open it. Watching this guy die. Can I like see the, the baby? I've got him. Can I memory the, the baby? Go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son. Damn, dude. God damn. There we go. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. Please we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Uh, uh awkward. Whenever you're ready. Awkward. <gasps> Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Yeah, Sean's like... Wasn't my kid. idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended Weird. up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Yerp. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. Mm. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Oh, 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 oh. It's up. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Scary. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, looks like Mr. And X. Faster than almost any real This like human. built like Mr. X for real, for real. I'm just glad they were always on my side. I don't want to have to kill them. That's scary. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said nothing. His so voice what's the big is funny. this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left. Oh. As in, he's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Oh, okay. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Mm hmm. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified. Dude, program. Sean's neck is broken. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me uh -oh. and hold still. What do you okay. fucking mean, stand next to me and hold still? Are you gonna teleport? Oh. Well, I mean, you did just there! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Wow. Bye. How the fuck are you supposed to compete with that shit? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there, as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? 
I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. But no one's ever done this before. How do you feel? You're fine. Dr. Amari? Let's start over. How are you feeling? I'm okay, Doctor. Damn, got a little side sheet going on there. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. <laughs> yes. I love that. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist, Kellogg, was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Oh, that's why he's there. To make the institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off oh. and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And Yikes. be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Halfway to another level. Let's go. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. Here what? comes the <laughs> bees. Hello, bees. You sound oh, like Kellogg just Welcome. then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Do we want our robot wife or robot husband? We've been waiting for so long to get Nick back, but now I feel like I'm already starting to get to like the level where I don't need Nick to like hack for us. Okay, we're keeping I'll Ada. See you around. Good luck Sorry, out Nick. There. I don't know where to find you because I forget what you've been fucking said already. I'll be honest. All right, I want to get the fuck out of here. I'm bored. <laughs> I think he says he's going back to his office. Stop going back to your goddamn office, bro. Go back to sanctuary like a real person. You turd. <laughs>